okay guys let's uh, go to the second video here of uh, you know building the uh, my blog or our blog and uh, I have gone ahead and you know just added some new stuff and as you notice here I've imported imported ginger 2 which is a templating engine for uh, you know that Google uh, app engine you know enable us to use and th there's another you know app I mean another templating engine called uh, uh, its name is called Django and you can also use it but uh, I'm going to use this for this lightweight uh, web blog now inside our uh, assets folder I have a new uh, uh, you know I showed this earlier I have a CSS folder that I've had at bootstraps for uh, CSS uh, that is from Twitter which is open source so you can just download that and add it to your folder and then also I have my own file I mean my own uh, CSS that you know I'll modify um, the uh, the look of the pages and inside my JS folder I have jQuery and my scripts folder just in case I will you know want to use them but for now uh, we are all set now inside the templates I have the index for index uh, file and it's just a regular you know index you know markup and inside there I have added a uh, a link to my CSS and a link to bootstrap as well you know I didn't add the JS right now because I, I don't really need it but just you know just for the uh, for the fun of it let's just go ahead and say scripts um, then you know the location uh, let's see the location here was um, it's inside the assets and then JS and we have uh let's go ahead and ask our scripts for the scripts file and then uh, that's it for now we'll add more later inside the uh the body tag i've added you know just a single header you know i can add a p tag and i'll say uh, this is my first blog post here and welcome to my world okay Okay, um, no, that's a p tag. Okay, paragraph. Now that that's good for now. We can go ahead and say save that. Now let's look inside the main dot pi file. This is really important. I, you know, I would like you to pay so much attention here. The main dot pi file. You know, in the, my first video, I already had import web app two. Okay, that is good. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Now we've imported Ginger 2 and I've explained that. And then we've imported the OS, which is the operating system. This is uh this will come in handy when we are you know creating this variable here called template directory, which you know which comes in uh when we want to access our templates folder. As you can see, this is templates folder that we created earlier here. Okay. So what we are saying here is os.path.join, os.path.directory name, then file, and then we pass in the templates folder that we created. And then using the ginger environment, we go ahead and assign the value of uh, ginger2.environment. You know, these are pre-built, like, you know, they come with uh, the ginger templating engine. And so we get we say loader is equals to ginger two dot file system loader and then template directory that we created earlier here. So what we are just saying here is we are enabling our app our app engine to access the uh, the, the, the directories you know and the folders that we you know created earlier. That way we don't need to uh, to add HTML to our um, to our code. So you don't want to mix HTML with real code that will be messy and you don't want to do that so after that we just create you know uh, a function here that you know text template again you don't have to understand all this right now you will do that later on and it will be really you know very easy to understand so we find a render string function and uh, it returns a t dot render and then parameters and then a class called base handler and this base handler will be inherited by all the handlers that we create next time so 
let's say here that um, we've created that and now we can go ahead and create our own classes our first class is called home and that is where um, that is where uh, you know our visitors will visit when they you know visit our blog and the first thing that will happen is when they visit home and as you can see I've edited here to say home they will see uh, whatever is inside index.html and that is right here index.html they will see welcome to my to blog making and so that's it if we go ahead and run this you know after saving everything let's see here uh, and there it is okay welcome to blog making 2013 this is my first blog post maybe I didn't mention but uh, there are certain things that you need to change inside here the in app.yaml file you'll have to create uh, you know add all the handlers so that you know the uh, application can be able to render the uh, CSS and the images and, and the JavaScript files and you also need to add the you know templating engine right here so you can pause this and study the look at this one you don't need to like master all these right now you will do that later so as of now our application is actually working and we can now move to the next video next time so see you soon in the next video